Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi Mathematics, happy to see you here. Today we have a very interesting question from Math Exam x plus y equal to 2 and xy equal to 4. We need to find our x, we need to find our y. If you have your solution, your answer, you can also write your solution down into the comment section. Write your answer down into the comment section real quick and in a few minutes we will check, we will check our answers. So first of all, let's call this first equation, uh, let's call this equation as first one, let's call this one as, as the second one. And from the first equation, let's find for example our x. x equal to 2 minus y. So our first step from the first equation, yeah, from the first one, we have that our y, so our x, let's factor for, let's find our x, x equal to 2 minus y, 2 minus y. This is from the first equation. And right now this expression, let's plug in from the first equation to the second one. So as a result, we'll have instead of x, we'll have 2 minus y times y. So as a result, what do we have? We have 2 minus y times y equal to, equal to 4. Okay, so this is our expression. And right now, let's simplify this a little bit. Let's do this. We have only one variable, so we can find right here our y. Let's do this right now. So as a result, we have 2y minus y square minus y square equal to equal to 4. It looks like this is a quadratic equation, but we prefer a completely different order. We prefer we prefer a y, y square on the first position, y on the second position. So right now, let's do this. As a result, what do we have? Minus y square plus 2y and of course minus 4 from the left side so minus 4 equal to equal to 0 really great and the final tricky move we prefer right here positive sign so let's multiply or divide both side by minus 1 i prefer multiplication by minus 1 as a result we have y square minus 2y and plus Four equal to zero. Really great. So this is our quadratic equation, and right now we gonna we gonna solve it. And how can we solve this question? Of course, with the basic uh, knowledge. Let's write our coefficients real quick. Yeah, a equal to one, b equal to minus two, and c equal to c equal to four. This is our um, coefficients. And right now let's plug in these coefficients into our spot. We know about discriminant equal to b square minus 4ac. So right now let's plug in each of these coefficients into this spot. b square minus 2 square, yeah, we have minus 2 square minus 4ac minus 4 times a times 1 and times c times 4. As a result, what do we have? Minus 2 square equal to 4, yeah? minus 4 times 1 times 4 equal to 16. So our discriminant 4 minus 16 equal to minus 12. So it looks like our uh, discriminant is negative 100%. So when discriminant, let's write it right here, when discriminant is less than 0. So from here it implies that we have two complex, two complex roots. So let's find it. Let's see what will happen. Let's find this complex root. First of all, let's plug in this, each of these elements into our, our spot. We know everything about formula, y, y first and second. So we have two pairs of not real number root solution, but with the complex solution. Yeah. So as a result, we have minus b plus minus square root of d and all over, all over 2a. As a result, what do we get from here? Minus b. So we have minus minus 2, yeah, plus minus square root of discriminant. So square root of discriminant d equal to minus 12, square root of minus 12. And we divide all of the thing by 2 times 1, 2a, 2 times 1. Okay, so we just plug in each of these elements into this spot. Right now, let's simplify this a little bit. Okay, so we have minus minus 2, we have 2, 2 plus minus, square root of minus 12. We can't find, we don't know exactly a value of this square root of minus 12, but we can write it as square root of not minus 12, but square root of minus 1 times 4 and times 3. Why I write it like that? Just look at this a really interesting property, times 2 times 1. Okay, I, it's a really great property, because when we have a product inside our square root, so whenever we have, for example, square root of a times b, we can easily write it as square root of a, times square root of b. We can easily split it. And right now let's continue with this property right now because we're going to write it as square root of minus 1 times square root of 4 and times square root of 3. So as a result we have 2 plus minus square root of minus 1 times square root of 4 times square root of 3 all over 2 times 1 equal to equal to 2. Right now square root of minus 1 this is our imaginary unit this is our i so as a result we have 2 plus minus i instead of 4 we're gonna write instead of square root of 4 we're gonna write 2 because square root of 4 equal to 2 and we have square root of 3. Okay and we're gonna divide it by by 2. Really great and the final tricky move right here we're gonna divide our numerator by this common denominator so as a result we have 
2 over 2, so we just looks like we split it by real part and imaginary part, by 2i square root of 3 all over 2, and we're going to cancel these two from here, these two from here, and as a result our answer is 1 plus minus i square root of 3. This is our answer to our question. Of course, this is only our y first and y second. Okay, so from here we can write on the left side y first, y first equal to, let's go with the plus sign, so 1 plus i square root of 3, and of course y second equal to 1 minus i square root of 3. So we have two, uh, two roots, y first and y second, but we need to complete it with the pair of x. So from here, what do we have? We have x equal to 2 minus y. So don't forget about it. So let's write it. So x equal to 2 minus y, 2 minus y. So from here we have we have two cases. We're going to find x uh, second and y, y second. So x equal to 2 minus y. As a result, we have that our x first is equal to 2 minus y first, yeah? And let's plug in it. So x first equal to 2 minus y first, y first equal to 1 plus 3 i uh, square root of 3. So 1 plus i square root of 3. And we're gonna have like our x first equal to 2 minus 1 minus i square root of 3. And from here our x first, x first equal to 1 minus i square root of 3. Really great. And right now let's find our uh, x second. So x second is equal to 2 minus y second. Okay? So x second is equal to 2 minus y second, and this one, 1 minus i square root of 3. <clears throat> and x second is equal to 2 minus 1 plus i square root of 3. As a result, we have x second equal to 2 minus 1 equal to 1 plus i square root of 3. So we have pairs, our pairs. So right now let's write our answer to this question and then we will check it real quick. We will check it real quick. So our answer to this question, our answer, our answer, the first pair, x first, y first. So we have 1 minus i square root of 3 and we have 1 plus i square root of 3, 1 plus i square root of 3. And the second pair we have x second, 1 plus square i square root of 3 and we have uh, 1 minus i square, i square root of 3. This is our pairs x and y, x and y to our question. And right now, in conclusion, let's check it real quick, okay? We have our pairs, this one and this one. First of all, let's rewrite our question from the beginning right here. So let's do this, let's rewrite it. So we have x plus y equal to 2 and xy equal to equal to 4, okay? This is our this is our question, and right now let's check it real quick. Let's start, for example, with addition. Uh, why we do need to check both these pairs? Because we have addition, and doesn't matter, x plus y, y plus x, we will have absolutely the same answer. So, for example, let's let's use this one. Let's check this one. So, x plus y equal to 2, x equal to this one, y equal to this one. So, we have 1 plus i square root of 3 plus 1 plus i square root of 3. Yeah, we have right here minus, yeah, don't forget about it, we have this one, so we have minus, and of course we can easily check this imaginary unit, and this one equal to 1 plus 1 equal to equal to 2. Okay, everything is great, addition works perfectly. And right now let's check our multiplication, so x, y equal to 4, so as a result we have 1 minus i square root of 3, and times 1 plus i square root of 3. This one need to be equal to 4. Let's check it real quick. So as a result, what do we have right here? We can easily look at this from another perspective. For example, this is our a, this is our b, yeah, this is our a, this is our b, this is our a, and this is our b. We have a minus b, a plus b. Everyone know about this formula because a minus b uh, times a plus b equal to a square minus minus b square. Okay, a square minus b square. So as a result, we can easily consider it as a square, one square minus b square, i square root of three square equal to four. Okay, so we have one minus this i square root of three to the second power equal to i square times square root of three square. So we're gonna raise both of these elements to the second power, this one and uh, and this one. Okay, i square equal to minus 1, this is our imaginary unit, so we have 1 minus minus 1, and times square root of 3 to the second power equal to equal to 3. Okay, and I think everything works perfectly. We have 1 minus minus, we have plus, plus, 1 times 3 equal to 3, equal to, equal to 4. Everything is, everything is great, so our answer works absolutely perfectly. You can easily see this answer right here. I don't have, I don't have enough space ju just to rewrite it, like in the end, like a final answer. So this is our proof, this is our proof, 
this is our final answer to this question so i really hope you understand it i really hope you enjoy, you enjoy this video i really hope you understand my explanation i really hope you learn something new which is extremely important for me when you learn something new when you know a little bit about a little bit about math you learn new formulas you learn about new algorithm algorithm principles it's really it's really important so i want to say thank you everyone for your support for your time you can also write a question down into the comment section write to respond what do you think about this question i have a lot of uh, challenges in my youtube channel a lot of really interesting algebra olympiad question more than 300 so i really hope you 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 enjoy it yeah thank you for your time wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself also write your notes about this question down into the comment section it's really important for me to see you respond and i really hope you enjoy it i really appreciate your support so thank you for your time wish you all the best in life take care of yourself and have a great day